We're back with the Opie and Anthony Show. I want to bring it to your attention. There's a website called RochesterInsider.com. Rochester inside her? No. Dot what? Rochester Insider. Oh. Dot com. That's different then. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Because she would have to be a whore. Well. <laughs> get all of Rochester. Yeah. Of course, Rochester, the home of Brother Wee's. We're mm-hmm. on a, a radio station mm-hmm. called The Zone. For how long? Who knows? I don't know if we have a relationship with that radio station, do we? I hope so. I hope so, too. I want to be heard in Rochester. I did a lot of time in Western New York, so I want uh, some some old friends to hear the old voice. Yeah. Uh, But they're doing a... uh, Remember, Anthony, the March Bracket Brawl? Uh, Opie, how could I forget the March Bracket Brawl that uh, was done here at our New York uh, station, our flagship station, K-Rock, here in New York City? Uh, Wow. What an event. It made the newspaper, I hear. Made the newspaper. Metallica beat out Zeppelin. And oh, Metallica my beat out Pearl Jam to goodness. take the title. And, uh, well, the research has finally come back. Oh, yeah, really? On that promotion. Uh-huh. And uh, and this is all the people that uh, that joined the radio station after hearing March Bracket Brawl. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a lot of people over there. Oh, well, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can we just be team players for once? Why? Are we going to start now after 13 years? No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I will say Just this. for once in my uh, dumb career, I want to work for a healthy radio station. <laughs> Is that asking too much? And I'm not talking about the syndicated stations. I just want the flagship station that we're on to kick for ass. once to be like the powerhouse. Like you yeah. just drive around the city and you can't you can't avoid billboards and and our faces oh, it's and the just logo huge. We work for a lot of assholes. We certainly do. We're brought in as that asshole anchor, <laughs> and then we're looked at as the a holes because yeah. we make fun. But I don't think we've ever worked for a healthy radio station as as far as the flagship uh, station goes. Yeah, we work for the um, the Patrick Swayze radio stations. <laughs> Yeah, our, the They're radio station just stations, about ready to drop dead. Yeah, the radio station <laughs> Sorry, we Patrick work for Swayze. lose listeners faster than Patrick Swayze loses pounds. Oh, oh, that. Um, oh, I love what they're playing on the station. Now. No, they're doing all right. I, love, I mean, I love it. I heard Sabbath last night on this. I love it too. Uh, they're trying their fifth format in two years. That's uh, that's terrific. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this one will work. That's the way to do it. You put, you put it on for a week, and all of a sudden you go, nobody's listening. Change it immediately. Well, <laughs> I can't keep track anymore. I actually did a little of that spring cleaning, Jimmy, and I went through my t-shirts. I I, I noticed I had too many t-shirts. I have uh, radio station uh, t-shirts with logos and 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 sayings on them. From this radio station, and I yeah. couldn't keep track. I uh, yeah, I have so many radio station uh, T-shirts. I'm like, I can't wear this shirt anymore. This was the format three formats ago. <laughs> yeah, they're um, they're actually good to use as a uh, rags. Wow! Uh, <laughs> wow! Very nice. They're very good. You find uh, an old station with an old logo on it, and just. Right into it. Yeah. <laughs> I love how you have to mouth the word. Well, it, it gives us that authenticity. Yeah. Sometimes you'll hear the last letter. No, well, they're uh, <laughs> they're uh, they're moving in the right direction here in New York. Yeah. Uh, RochesterInsider.com is kind of doing a March uh, bracket brawl, Anthony, and I know how much you love these brackets. <laughs> well... I hope Hinkley writes that I really love the bracket brawls <laughs> and doesn't catch an ounce of sarcasm in my voice. <laughs> right. No, the only one we uh, enjoy so far was what Toucher and Rich are doing. Yeah. With the unfunniest comic thing. Mm-hmm. That was very original that and was different. Good. Uh, and Rochester, they're doing Rochester Radio Madness. Rochester Radio Madness. And if you go to RochesterInsider.com. That's using the mad- madness part oh, of yeah. the March Madness. See, we used the March bracket brawl, so we had March in there, right. but not madness. No. 
And now they're using the madness. Coming soon to our show, April craziness. Right. Ed. April craziness. Ed's working on it. I on think. the Opie and Anthony show. When are we going to do uh, April craziness? Starting tomorrow, maybe? I think the first round will be tomorrow, yeah. All right. First round tomorrow. Make sure you tune in because it's it's crazy. Oh, it's, it's well, of course, it's April craziness. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Why, March Madness just sets up for April craziness. <laughs> We're going to start a trend where we expect every radio show in America to do April craziness. Yes. Get away from that dumb March Madness. And then uh, I'm, I'm hoping for May retardation, <laughs> where it just completely goes off the scale and we become blithering idiots. You missed the obvious. What? May mayhem. May mayhem. Now we got to mm. do something for June. June. Uh, <laughs> June. <laughs> the June. The June. The June. Nice. June bug out. Oh, 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 a June bug. <laughs> <laughs> so RochesterInsider.com, they're doing Rochester Radio Madness. And, guys, I'm proud to announce that uh, we're in, in this competition, and we beat a show called Casper in the first round. Casper. And we are right now taking on... The morning, co- uh, the morning coffee club. What? The morning coffee club. What is that? Look at the picture of the morning coffee club. They are the three most killable people I've ever seen in my life. Look at that pig. Oh, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Let me see. Okay. Wow. Um, Boy, does she have a voice for radio, this one. Coffee club. Terry Clifford. Oh, oh my God. Look at this beast. What? Whoa, look at Terry Clifford. And she's a flatso. <laughs> she's a flatso, which is the worst thing a fat chick can be, is flat. Yeah, good idea, perming that, uh, getting a perm on top of your fatness. She looks like Del oh, Griffin. Wow. <laughs> yeah, she this does. could be the most despicable woman I've ever seen in my life. Well, Terry Clifford. Wow, Terry's tidbits. We're trying to get to know. Those uh, are on her chest. <laughs> 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 Oh, the fat went to the wrong places, didn't it, honey? Um, we're taking on the morning coffee club in this in this Jesus. Rochester Radio Madness competition, so we want to get to know <laughs> Terry Clifford. <laughs> Do we? Obviously, obviously the cornerstone of the radio show. Cornerstone of a building. <laughs> right. Well, that's called a setup. I yes. did a little bounce pass there. Nice layup, Anthony. <laughs> Well, and and thank God that uh, we're taking on the Morning Coffee Club because the Morning Coffee Club was up against Late Nights with John Tesh, and if we uh, if we were up against Late Nights with John Tesh and lost, that would be very embarrassing oh, for our career. Be. So we're taking on the Morning Coffee Club and, uh, Coffee Club. Oh. and Terry Clifford. Wow, Look at her. you want to read about Terry <laughs> Clifford for us, uh, Jimmy? Today, please. Are the listeners going to be able to get a picture of her? I guess. We can throw it up on onaradio.com later today. This is so heinous. Yeah. I really am stunned. Well, in the in the uh, picture, there's three of them. There's a guy, a slender gentleman wearing a flannel shirt, making kind of like a, uh-oh, like a wacky face, uh-oh face. <laughs> and behind him with her <laughs> hand on his... Sh- oh, I'm sorry, Jimmy. I just have to jump in because I have a little experience in radio, and I, I'm... Just by the face in the flannel shirt, I'm thinking he's the crazy one. Yeah, he's the one. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. And the two people behind him, it's almost like picture a guy in the middle and two people behind him, each leaning one arm on his shoulder, like a family yeah. portrait. Yeah. And uh, they're, they're both fat, and the fat woman has a jovial look on her face, which she should not have. Uh, and that's Terry Clifford, and the, uh, the other guy, I don't know who he you is. You know why? Why? Someone's ready to throw a sardine in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, uh, now my joke sucks. I was going to say that the camera guy it kind of has some donuts you know, oh. that he's kind of flashing to get her to smile I, like that. I went with, with the walrus <laughs> joke. Yeah, and I would have was... said she's smiling like she just bit Bo Derek's leg off. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't like that. What a mess. Oh. I can't get enough of this Terry Clifford now. She's and the guy great. in the middle with the big ears. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> With huge ears, yeah. yeah he's horrendous. Oh. Uh, anyway, uh, we're beating them right now 46.2%, and we have 53.8%. That's it? Those numbers will uh, change drastically in the next hour or so. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> uh, Terry Clifford. What do we know about Terry Clifford there? She's fat. Oh, she's awful. And she has what looks like a curly version of Gene Simmons' wig on. Terry <laughs> Clifford is Zilcho number one. 
Uh, working at WBEE is truly a labor of love for me. I was originally hired in October of 1984, three years out of college. One small market radio station under my belt. Jesus, <laughs> you fit 18 major markets under your belt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She worked at 12.40 a.m. WGVA in Geneva, New York. Little known mm. fact, I got my radio start in Geneva, New York at a fine station called CQ102 Hit Music and More. Yeah. This bio, it's its so awful you can't even be funny with it. No. Yeah. Like, here's the one line she goes for a joke. Well, could you go, could you continue? Because I want to comment about the next line. Okay. She, she uh, graduated college in 81. <laughs> she, her first gig was at WGBA in Geneva, New York. And then she was ready to conquer Rochester. Ready yeah. To conquer Rochester. 22 plus years later, I'm still working on that. Wow. <laughs> Jesus, give it, give it up. The only person that should be proud to be uh, doing twenty plus years in Rochester radio would be Brother Weez mm -hmm. because he is like a monster. He is a monster. So is Terry <laughs> Clifford, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, she's the Cloverfield monster, but <laughs> Jimmy, come on, man. <laughs> she wants to conquer Rochester by knocking down buildings. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anyone else? Uh oh, that... <laughs> oh, that's the guy in the middle. Anyone else that has spent 22 years in Rochester radio, and I love Rochester, I go up there two or three times a year easily, uh, should kill themselves. Kill themselves. Oh, boy. So she's still working on that, Jimmy. What else you got here? I, I don't know. There's nothing else. Um, I have uh, worked every air shift imaginable through the years, along with a number of other jobs around the station, but none that I love more than the B Morning Coffee Club. I have worked mm. with and for some of the best people the business has to offer. Mm. Who cares? Who cares? For those of you who have listened for a while, should be for both of you, uh, you'll remember <laughs> the likes of KB Cooper, Coyote Collins, and of course the unforgettable Bill Coffee. Ugh. Bill Coffee. Ugh. Is that why the show is called Morning Coffee Club? Oh. It's like the drink, only spelled different. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the next line... <laughs> only the hijacker. <laughs> only luckier because you don't have to listen to this fat pig. That <laughs> <laughs> uh, was cool. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever. The next, line, the next line in this bio could go either way. It could get either a really big laugh mm -hmm. or it can make people very sad. I think that is up to laugh. You, That's up to you to decide. Yeah. Uh, who are we to uh, decide that for you? Bill Coffey, he was my co-worker, my mentor, and one of my best friends. Mm -hmm. His sudden death. Ooh. His sudden death on Monday, December 6, 2004. When the hell did this happen? Oh, I just December told you. 6, 2004. Sorry. Left a hole in our uh, staff and my heart the size of the Grand Canyon. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Start writing. All right. Ah! <laughs> At the funeral, I collapsed and left a similar size <laughs> hole in the floor. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. We uh. like exaggerated humor, but if you have a hole in your heart the size of the Grand Canyon, that doesn't leave a lot of room for the yeah. blood to continue pumping. Right. <laughs> she really could have used a hole in her stomach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. Who puts that in their bio? Yeah, blah, blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. And it says, uh, blah, blah, blah. whom from, uh, wait, I will for, forever be grateful to Steve Hausman, who from December 7th, oh, December 7th, very special to her. That's when the Japanese bombed her. <laughs> 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 yeah, whatever. So yeah. oh. we're up against this uh, show called The Morning Coffee Club. Go to rochesterinsider.com to check it out for yourself. All the great shows in there. Uh, wow. Mike Danger. I am one lucky lady, she says. Yeah? Yeah. Are you? Really? Mm. Wow. Um, Luck be an elephant. <laughs> Tonight. <laughs> All the shows we're going to have to take out to uh, take the title. Uh, we're going to have to take out Mike Danger. We're going to have to take out the Wake Up Club. Uh, we're going to have to take out Morning Drive with Gately and Julie. Mm-hmm. And Wesley's world, whatever the hell that is. What is that? I don't know. Wow. There you go. So we're in a bracket thing. Yeah. 
Rochester Radio Madness. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Terry Clifford. I'm obsessed with her. Oh, totally. She's all I want to think of today. <laughs> she is horrible. Look at those arms. <laughs> They're just, I can't get over this picture. I bet she's got double ass. You ever see fat women that have the ass in the middle of their ass? It's like a separate ass. Because the panties aren't that big, yeah. So, so they kind of bunch up and squeeze part of the fat into a, a smaller, like quato, uh, from Total Recall. Sure, sure. It's like quato ass. Yeah, you got a little butt growing out of the uh, the big butt. There. Yeah, I bet Terry Clifford's got that. Mm. Her hair is. It, you know, it looks like it looks like <laughs> it looks like a wok with an afro. <laughs> it's uh, curly and completely bullish. <laughs> It looks. I, I think it looks more like cotton candy myself. It's it's very hobbitish. I think she. I, I think she. Just, I think she cuts her own hair in the mirror. She has hair like Herb Tarlick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's say hi to Jared in Boston. Jared. Jared. What's up, Jared? Eat the sandwiches. Jared. What's up, Jared? Hey. Uh, way to pick on those hard targets, you bunch of nudges. <laughs> <laughs> We're nudges. Oh, it's making you laugh, though. Oh. Let's be honest. Oh, she's what she is, you know? I mean, Flatso. I love Flatso. Flatso. <laughs> it's the, the curse great. of the fat woman. <laughs> Being fat with no boobies. The Flatso. God bless the Rosie America. O'Donnell's the classic Flatso. The classic. <laughs> oh, yeah. Classic. Just huge with no breasts to speak of. Yeah. Someone is suggesting that this Terry Clifford looks a lot like Babe Ruth. <laughs> oh, Babe would have grown his hair out a little bit. <laughs> Dude, you guys oh, see the color yeah. picture of Terry Clifford. Oh, oh God. God. Hold on, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Black and white yeah. makes her look... In a general mm. kind of way. Wow. Yeah. Um, wow. Hold well, on, hold on with... buddy. She's wearing... Terry Clifford, we're looking at a photo of her in color, and she has on glasses, and she's with two guys... And she has white gl gloves on. She's wearing two white why? gloves. I why? Because she's uh, holding an Oscar. And I guess it must be uh, a real Oscar. That's why the white gloves, so you don't mess it up with all the greasy fingers that she has. Oh, I'm all, sure. All the fried chicken she's Chicken eating. and whatever the hell else she's eating. Mm, that's great. Too. The white little uh, glove. She looks like a panda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wow. Whoa. 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 All right. That hairdo is wonderful. <laughs> Atrocious. Yeah, uh, yeah, she looks like the rental car lady in planes, trains, and automobiles, but fatter. <laughs> but fatter. And John Candy. <laughs> Could you move down to her white gloves? Yeah, let's see the white gloves. we got to get these pictures up. Why is she wearing white gloves? Oh, because she is holding an Oscar. No, right. she is, and I'm sure they don't want the grease on the damn thing. Yeah, put these gloves on. They probably make her do that like whenever there's stuff around so she can't be picking up little chocolate things. I'll look at her fingers <laughs> and see if she's been eating. You've been eating, haven't you? The insurance company makes her do that. <laughs> she checks on her and see if there's grease on her gloves. <laughs> You got morning coffee club audio, Danny? Oh, uh, Danny. Uh, Thank Danny. God. This is uh, a show we're up against, I guess. Do they even... Oh, they're on in mornings, and we're on, like... We have a horrible time slot, by the way, in Rochester. I've been fighting that for a long time. Two to five, that's prime time. Two to five stinks. You want to get people <laughs> in their cars. It's all about getting people when they're in their cars. Two to five yeah, rush stinks. Hour. And I, I, I lived in Rochester. I mean, the commute is really short, and they're not commuting at two in the afternoon. No. Uh, Morning Coffee Club, here's some audio of the show we're taking on. Rochester okay. Radio Madness! Hold on to your uh, hats. 712 and 92.5 WDB. Wait, hold on. Why does she start off with her waist? <laughs> oh, damn, Jimmy. And that one is out of here. Wow. By the way, <laughs> just remember, you're listening to a fat pig. <laughs> I mean, the voice sounds like, wow. Oh, wow. look at everyone on Pal Talks going, swim walk. Swim walk. <laughs> swim walk. Ahead, Jimmy. Oh, you Jimmy, deserve a swim, swim, walk. swim walk. You deserve a swim walk for that. Very good. <laughs> swim walk. Um, <laughs> she got the sexy voice, but it's radio. Sexy voice equals... Uh, slob. Equals weight. Yeah. More weight. 
712 and 925 WBEE. Some sunshine later on today. Had to do the low 40s. We're 20. There'll be some sunshine as soon as I get off the roof. <laughs> <laughs> We're the most juvenile show on the radio oh, dial. We're doing third grade humor for guys in their 40s. W-O-B-E-E-S-E. <laughs> <laughs> Rochester's the only, the only city in America that has uh, more eclipses than everywhere else because of this Terry Clifford. Oh, she's wonderful. <laughs> oh, she's a gem. Uh, low 40s. We're 28 right now. Tom George, what do you see? Not bad, Bird. Uh, first off, he's talking Nothing. <laughs> Not you. No boobs. <laughs> what do you see? Huh. Do you really want me to say? Yeah. <laughs> Circus tent masquerading as a dress? Uh, oh, I love her. She's all I want to talk about. She's great. A month. Bird, uh, first off, eastbound travels got sunk there this morning. All expressways are on time on a dry highway. Just a handful of power outages from yesterday's windstorm. Not affecting any traffic signals, we're told. All right. Uh, according to the uh, uh, post-it notes all over the studio, <laughs> don't forget the announcement. It's seven ten. Now's the time uh, we should make the announcement, which is three minutes off schedule, which is right on time for us. So I would like to applaud our punctuality for once. Um, hey. Relatively close. Thank you very much. Very nice. Uh, like Ladies and gentlemen, you have uh, the email in your inbox already. Um, you've seen it on our website. Uh, your friends perhaps have asked you about it. Uh, maybe you've overheard the cool people that were <laughs> the morning Viking club possibility of attending. Uh, well, today is the day where we begin to announce the lineup for the 2008 Guitars and Stars Showcase going Ew. on uh, wow. in early May at the Dome Arena in Henrietta the 7th, right? Is that my That's it. Mm -hmm. Yep. May 7th. How, how odd that he mentions cool. Henrietta and then the hippo pipes up. <laughs> 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 wow, in the rocking town of Henrietta. Boy, these this show's going places. <laughs> Henrietta. And Henrietta the seventh, right? Great success. Like, yep. May seventh. <laughs> right. hey, cool. You think I you know, all that talking, I know what day we're doing this. <laughs> um Now I need to know who's playing at their great concert. Oh, my God. I think it's in that. WBEE.com is the web address. Just go there. It's so easy. It's so fast, and you're still in plenty of time uh, to sign up for the I Love My Country Club. Not easy for her. She hits five keys with each fat little chubby <laughs> finger. I can't get to a website. Who's playing at the, what is this, what is this show called? The Guitars and stars. All right, who are the guitars and who are the stars of this big uh, mm -hmm. concert? Country Club, WBEE.com. All right, which, by the way, is where James Otto will be joining us relatively soon. Am I right? Who? Yeah, he's, uh, he's supposed to call us actually on the phone. Uh, on the phone as opposed to uh, actually he's tin can and strings. Ago, but I think I might have okay. given him the wrong number. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't bring that up and we could be like, hey, what are you looking to call? Jim Zotto. But no, Terry's picked the screen off of my uh, broadcasting. So there you go. This jolly laugh there, Santa. All right, you just do the news. Nice. All right, stay tuned. Jay Zotto will call us uh, here in just a second. Oh. You, you know how, how many times he's been called you have such a great laugh? So. Yeah. Terry Stevenson. Yeah. Why don't we have our voice guy sound like that? That would be Anthony and Jim Nor. I could not imagine having a show like that. I hate this business. That does why, that whole, we... hey, blah, 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 puke, puke, blah, 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 This is the greatest thing you're going to hear. And it's the guys and the hole is there and it's just the, the same Formula. She just laughed over crap. She just laughed over a concert announcement. <laughs> whoa, 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 hey, we'll slow down a little bit. Oh, whoa, good there, gravy. Uh, concert announcement. There's kids listening. Whoa, whoa, whoa slow down a little bit. <laughs> well, imagine what a chair smells like. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! I like the Christ. inside of her wig. <laughs> It's a lot of uh, a lot of New Year's Eves alone. Like ground zero, right in the middle of that chair. 
just has to be. I just want to put my nose right there and go, <laughs> and just see what that is. See what's going on there. Mm. Oh, hey, they got a big one, though, for this uh, stars and guitars. They got uh, Zamfir, so that's uh, very good. That's a biggie for them. Just roids hanging down like a spaghetti maker. <laughs> just, <laughs> just know she's forcing things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Awful. All right, Gross. we got to take a break. I think it stinks. Oh, it's got to just stink. Ugh. Yeah. Just that that musty, yuck, rank, dank, hasn't cleaned up very well in years. Kind of. Little arms don't reach. Yeah. Look at Terry Clifford uh, getting an award. From, from breezing the crap out of that seat. Getting an award from Barbara Walters for what? Should be a blue ribbon tied on her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 4-H. What is that? <laughs> Broadcasters New York, Award. New York State Broadcasters well, Award. She's playing the part of the state. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, there's Barbara Walters. The weird thing about Terry Clifford is that uh, four other morning shows in Rochester actually have their uh, their transmitters on her body. <laughs> it's one of the highest mountains in Rochester. Oh, yeah. You think they have a little contest smell Terry's chair? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm I'm fixated now on the chair. I want to smell her chair because it's probably so disgusting. Steal her chair, please. Yeah. All right, we got to take a break, and uh, we got Jim Jefferies coming in next. He's great. He is great. Love this guy. I saw him at the uh, Dennis Leary and Friends uh, show that Dennis did, and uh, we had him on, and he killed, and uh, he's here today again. Very cool. cool. So we'll do that next. Opie and Anthony. Right back at you, Opie and Anthony. In Hello. studio, Jim Jeffries. Uh, Jim came in, I don't know, four or six months ago and just killed for us. And I was telling him off mic that uh, the listeners of this show just have, they've, they have taken to you. They love you, Jim. Oh, thank you. It's very nice. They talked about you for a long time after you left on all the message boards and stuff. And Jim Jeffries uh, will be playing Caroline's here in New York City Thursday through Sunday. Tickets available by calling 212-757-4100. And you got the MySpace uh, slash Jim Jeffries to get exactly. Jim. Just slash Jim Jeffries, and then that's that's it, I guess. There's not much to say, really. Well, Jim is a very, very uh, edgy, yeah, very uh, honest. I wouldn't say that honest. Honest, <laughs> pretty honest. Some of the stories you tell on that stage, you yeah. you admit to a lot of horrific things that you have done. Well, yeah, yeah, I do. I yeah. Well, it's it's the whole the truth, the whole truth, and nothing like the truth. You know, it's eighty percent true, and then I just. Put a few C words in the middle to make it more meaty. <laughs> yeah. Try to meet it up. I, mean, I, I was just so excited to get in here and actually see a picture of uh, Terry. Terry Clifford? Yeah. I, because I, I was listening in the other room and I was thinking what she actually looks like. And the first thing I said when I came in, she actually does look like my mum. Oh, really? It's, it's like, it's oh, horrific. I'm sorry. No, it's horrific. No, my mum's a heavy set woman. She, uh, yeah, but does she have an awful haircut like that? She would if she could. Her bangs are like With maybe... all the cancer, it's just falling out. So. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you got. You got a mom with cancer? Uh, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was I listening to the replay yesterday, and I got to acknowledge something. Boy, did Terry Clifford get a beating yesterday. Oh, oh my God. I don't even know if she deserved this. Of course she did. She did deserve it? You oh, think? of course. You can't walk around with a body like that. <laughs> think people aren't going to just mock you. For the people that weren't listening yesterday, we're in... Shame on you. We're in some kind of... Uh, uh, bracket uh, uh, competition. Yeah, like a, a March Madness college basketball uh, uh, bracket. Or or match. the one they did here in New York, March uh, Bracket Brawl. Bracket Brawl. wonder what Brain Trust came up with that name. It's been in that conference room. Just, what, what do we call it? Well, they're doing something called Radio Madness. Rochester Radio Madness. That sounds crazy. So we're up against this uh, show, the Coffee Club, I think. Oh, the Morning, morning Coffee, Coffee Club. Club. Okay. Coffee is, is, sounds like the drink, but it's spelled different because <laughs> it's not spelled like coffee. Right. So we uh, we found out yesterday that we're up against this this show as part of Rochester Radio Madness. Yeah. So we figured, why not uh, get to know our competition? So like an unprovoked animal attack, we just <laughs> decided to <laughs> lay our fangs into this poor fatty. <laughs> Who's probably a, a wonderful, wonderful no, person. No, I doubt it. I don't know. I don't want to know. Oh, who would? Who would want to know? No, you just want to go after the easy target. 
That, but, uh, yeah. But it's I was just a mess. I was listening to the replay, and I was just laughing my ass, my ass off. It was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> just, just the abuse this uh, uh, fat woman took mm -hmm. from this program, unprovoked, just because she was put up against us with the rest of her radio team there uh, in some silly bracket thing. Uh, we went after her both barrels. Oh, boy, did we. We need gonna... both, both barrels when you're hunting rhinoceros. <laughs> uh, ugh. I don't even know uh, why we started the show this way, but it, I just had to acknowledge how awful we were yesterday. She did nothing. It was just the accident of her birth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. She just wanted to be Terry. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it just happens, right, Jimmy? Yeah. Yeah. Just walking down I the street you? and our hands are all pointed going, ah, fat so. Look at her. <laughs> Ha ha. Hey, Dom DeLuise. <laughs> What's the website again, E-Rock? Rochester... Roch Rochester Insider. Dot com. Dot com. And then you'll find the link for the, the exciting radio contest. Now, where did we start out yesterday? What do you mean? Against uh, the, the coffee club. And where are we now, as far as uh, percentage-wise goes with the voting? Well, I was reading the comments, and the guy that's running the whole thing is yeah. really, really mad because he noticed a huge... A huge spike in voting last well, night. Well, what's the problem with that? So now he's, like, filtering votes. He wants to keep it as fair as possible. Go down How the hell did this happen? Why? Well, okay. Go down to the comments, <laughs> E-Rock. We're going to wreck your dumb contest. Filtering votes? Get out of here. Oh, he's mad. Go down to uh, uh, view the, uh, the most current results. Right here. Hit here. Okay. Hit here. No, hit. Yeah, there's no link. There. Oh, boy. yeah, there is. If if you do what I say and and, and hit here, oh, geez. the word here. Yeah, it was really close yesterday. Now we're beating the uh, the morning coffee club, seventy four point three percent to twenty five point seven. Oh, so go down yeah. and find the comments. I don't know if it's now. Nah, where the hell were the comments? Go back. I'm sure people were commenting on uh, Terry. Was it on the blog? Yeah, maybe the blog. <laughs> Were they commenting on Terry? <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, oh, I no. thought you meant some of our fans may might have been able to uh, comment. No, basically the guy that put the whole thing. Okay, here we go. Uh, back on track. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, haters in the house. Oh. Some people have nothing better to do than cheat at an online voting contest Jeez. for local radio shows. Wow, such haters, man. As many of you know that have been following our Radio Madness tournament uh, might have already noticed the voting percentages did change drastically overnight. Oh. <laughs> cheating. And cheating. I just want to acknowledge that I love the pests of this radio show. And we're not doing this for the glory of winning some dumb Rochester radio no. contest. We're doing this just to be annoying to everybody. Just to ruin their little thing. Right. That's what we do. He continues. That's because we noticed that there was some vote stacking going on. Apparently, there are some people out there that are so desperate to see certain results, they've resorted to desperate measures. What? This ain't Florida, people. Oh, uh -huh, I get it. Such losers, but it doesn't matter. We're on to them. What you see now is an accurate accounting of votes, and hopefully it'll stay that way as we continue to fish out those who are intent on being corrupt. Corrupt. This guy's just going to make the pest try a little harder. That's is he insulting all. this show or the fans or both? I uh, think both. Who is this jerk? Oh, I'm gonna. His name is uh, Troy. No matter what Troy. it takes, Insider is committed to making sure the true, most popular radio shows wind up winning. <laughs> well, now, if they get on and say, hey, we're up against uh, Opie and Anthony and they're uh, douches and uh, could you please vote for us? Uh, then their listeners would vote, and you would truly see who the most popular uh, show is. Where is this voting supposed to be coming from? I don't Just know. Just people that stumble upon the site? I guess, sure. Well, I... We, we, is and that, it our show he's talking about, though? It has to be, because... Oh, yes. Because yesterday the um, the count was like 55% to 45%, and now it's 75 or something Yeah, like yeah. To 25. Go back, you I think he's upset. And then he, he uh, finishes by saying, so keep voting... And hopefully those haters with too much time on their hands will get the message. And then he signs it, Insider Tony. Yeah, shut up, Insider. Uh, Troy, 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 Troy. Insider Troy. Troy. <laughs>
Is there an email link for Troy? <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> they'll find it on their own, Jimmy. Yeah, they'll get them. They'll find it on their own. Oh, boy. So oh, it's... they're so stupid. <laughs> so, boy, I so... swear it's always <laughs> like the scene in The Godfather where somebody just cracks and goes, Look, I don't care how many you guinea greaseball wops come out of the woodwork. And then you're just sitting there watching going, Oh, oh, don't do that. Yeah. Oh, you know how this is going to end. Troy's going to be laying there with a getting a back massage, <laughs> and a bullet's going to go through his glasses. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, Troy. Uh, all right, Troy's going to be voting for Obama, it looks like. Huh? Wait, it looks like Urkel? Yeah. He, ha he oh, has a little okay. Urkel to him. Oh, is that why you're using the term haters? Or oh, haters. Yeah, and then Yo, player. Yo, kid. Yo. So we got that going on in Rochester. We got something else going on in Boston. Let's say I like to... Terry's ass too. Then oh, yeah. <laughs> he's the only white chick with an ass that he can look at. <laughs> and then he realized it was like just the side of her stomach. <laughs> we have an announcement to make. Mm -hmm. Here it is. It's April craziness. Hey, 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 hey. April craziness. Oh no, it's so crazy. Crazy. April craziness on the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> well, apparently it's April craziness. Yeah. Now, uh, you all know March Madness. Yeah, so we decided and, to come up with April craziness. Uh, and not because uh, everybody else did a March Madness thing, but because we were way too lazy <laughs> and, again, missing the proverbial boat on everything. <laughs> This show is just a, a a prime example of a day late and a dollar short. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, instead of some kind of March Madness, why not April craziness? That's right. Hold on, let me let me really make it crazy. All right, that's crazy. April craziness. You know how you said we're behind and all that. Just oh now? yeah, always. This is the beauty of April craziness. <laughs> yeah. It's April craziness. Hey, 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 hey. April craziness. Oh no, it's so crazy. Crazy. April craziness. On the Opie and Anthony show. The beauty of April craziness? Yeah. We don't know what that means yet. <laughs> yeah, we, we're not quite sure. We're still working some of the kinks out. It's April 3rd. <laughs> and we decided we just to do April know. craziness. You would think it would be all worked out. Yeah, we, we probably. You would think maybe we have crazy things planned for the whole month of April. We don't really know what it means yet. Not really. We really don't know what it means. We're working on some concepts, and hopefully by the tenth of April, we'll let you know. But there will be a bracket event. Yeah, you think? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm. I'm feeling we need something like that. All right. Because it's that's the whole March Madness thing. If we do April craziness, we need a bracketed uh, event. But I think it should be uh, all-encompassing. We could do a bracket event, but we have to do more craziness. It's got to be even crazier. Yeah, we have to have madness. a lot of uh, crazy stuff Is going craziness on. craziness crazier than madness? Uh, like more insane? I'd rather be mad than crazy. Yeah, see? Because from the March Madness... Uh I don't know. Yes, then craziness. we can make it April lunacy. No. Well, we already got the we already got the little <laughs> oh, promo damn. thing made. It's official. I mean, we just played it. I know we played it. We, you can't take that back. No, of course not. <laughs> not only will people. April craziness have brackets, but there will be regions and seeds. Wow. So really, yeah. Wow, are they working hard on this? Are yeah. we going to start April? No, I'm not saying today? you are. I'm asking, are they working hard on? <laughs> We're uh, starting it today? Absolutely. All right, we're going to start April craziness today, later on in the uh, the program. <laughs> yeah. So we, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Lots going on. We got uh, Patrice O'Neill in the studio. Also, we um, unveiled our April craziness today, and uh, now the promos are just flooding in. Oh, I mean, yeah, as long as we got in. promos. Well, we played the first one about an hour ago. Yeah. We already have a second promo for April craziness. Once the promos get played, we're obligated to actually come up with something. Yes. <laughs> Opie and Anthony get crazy this April. La, 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 la. It's April craziness. La, 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 la. It's so crazy. It's April craziness. La, 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 la. It's completely insane. It's so bad, it's awful. April craziness on the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> Jimmy? I can't listen to it even to be ironic. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we play him. I'm telling you. Oh, my God. It, it really hurts. It's painful. I, I love it. 
I love it. I think I love it because I know it annoys Jim. Oh, boop, 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 boop. But, but look yeah. at the trees. You yeah. like fat girls, right? I enjoy let's, fat let's girls, bring man. On, bring on the picture of Terry Clifford. Oh, you're going to uh, love You're going to fucking oh, love Terry uh, We got one for you, Patrice. Tell me if you would fuck Terry Clifford. Now, it's going to take a couple seconds. I, I surprised Stan with this. It's okay. Here is... The beauty that is Terry. <laughs> yeah, no, go. she's a mess. <laughs> now, and, and it doesn't have anything to do right away with her size. It's that <laughs> horrific grill. Yeah, the face is awful, but the size. And no neck. No, it's just like okay. she's not attractive. If That's what it is. If, attractive. Uh, if she's a, a got a pretty face and she's a pig, it, it's a possibility to depend on how fucking horny I am, dude. If See, you took yeah, exactly head how off, horny you are, like, you'll how do horny it. Would you you'll have, do it. How horny but, would you have to be to do that right there, Terry Clifford? We zoomed in. A lot of horny. Let me think. Let me think oh, about how horny. Yeah, how horny. Like, oh. what would have to happen for you to go? She would. Okay, and I'm gonna be honest with you. All right. I'd have to be in a bad uh, esteem spot, like my just low, like my no swagger, feeling bad, <laughs> feeling um, all bad about yourself. She she's like, oh, you, you know, she's talking. She calls me smart, and I go thank you, and then she just goes, I just want to, I just if she begs to suck dick. Like, please let me just put my your balls in my mouth. I suck it, and just some dirty, rotten shit. And I'm feeling fucking weird. I, I you know, I fuck her in the face or something. I've done some horrible shit. To I, I, I'm, I, that's exactly. I've done but I'm saying the more famous girls. Patrice has gotten, I've known him for years. The hotter girl, his girlfriend is a hot girl. The the more famous he's gotten, and the more he's felt good about the fucking hotter chicks he gets. It's like not that fat girls you can't be attracted to them. But like you, when you date chicks, they're, they're hot. But you just finished saying these. Look, when I say fat girls, Norton, that one. The some of left. these girls you would fuck. Yeah. But I consider these girls fat. Fat girls, girls right? Any girls right. over mm. any girl with a double digit number on her body is considered a fat girl. No, She's no, a plus size girl. You can, you can get girls with double D tits. Uh, no, no, a ten. Double meaning, digits. Meaning a ten. Uh, uh, like if you a size ten or size twelve, no, they're, they're getting into Those fat, fat girls. Girl. They're getting into being a fat girl. They're, they're, they're 14, fat girls. Out they're 14 there. 14 to these 20. are as, these are sixteens. There must be there's there's a twenty two there somewhere. I'll agree with you. I'll say they're not all like disgusting right. putrid I don't fat fuck girls. A, a despicable fat. But it's like I had to think the, of a scenario the, the, the for Terry Clifford. But scroll down. I don't a little. have to think of a scenario for any of these chicks. The, I'll see him and go. Mm.